Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. This is episode 73. Monday, Bitcoin going down. But before that, before going to uh, screen share, I would like to say a word of thanks to the guys at Heart for Cafe. And uh, because they invited me last Saturday night for um, uh, a live analysis at their live show. So this was great. Um, everyone liked it very much. And also thank you because this helped our channel to achieve one of the milestones that we really wanted for some time to go above the 1000 subs. And we are now around 1,060 uh, something subs. And that's a very good sign that everything uh, we do here is appreciated and the quality of the content is very good. People have been um, complimenting me on Twitter and on our Telegram group. By the way, to join our Telegram group, you guys know what to do already. Open a browser, you write on the address bar t.me slash money, and it will get you to a page where you will be invited to join the group. Or you can just use the Telegram app and search for FU Money, and you will have a channel and a group. You can join the group. The channel is for nothing it's just uh, you know it's just there uh, in parallel with the group but uh, the group is the main thing that's where you can debate and uh, present your ideas and debate uh, be about bitcoin with other people so go ahead and join our telegram group and um, we will appreciate your presence of course so uh, thank you again guys at the heart for cafe if you just you know already if you want me to join any other of your live streams at uh, on Saturday nights, just uh, send me a DM, a direct message, and we will set it up. No problem. And again, thank you all for joining this channel and being a subscriber. So now we are above 1,000. The next milestone, you guys know what this is already. It's 4,000 public hours of people watching the videos and so let's see when we achieve that milestone okay so without further del uh, delay let's go to screen share and we will start as usual with the price to time model so uh, you guys know already today monday bitcoin has been uh, going down i was um, on hard for cafe on saturday night and also on my uh, own video on Saturday, the live stream of this channel, and also on Friday, on the quick update we had on Friday, I said that we would have to close the weekly candle above $35,800. We were not able to do that. We were almost close to closing at $35,800. We were actually above it just a few hours one or two hours before the weekly close but this was not possible so bitcoin went down again the weekly close was around thirty-five thousand and five hundred, if i'm not mistaken and that of course triggered another leg down so bitcoin has been going down again uh, since yesterday and all this morning but let's see what's uh, happening on the price to time model and we have uh, i will zoom in so you guys can see it we are now we are now on the right side of the yellow candle pattern and this means that comparing our cycle the current cycle of bitcoin to the previous bull cycle of 2017 we are now a bit delayed so we are not ahead anymore we are delayed and this will probably continue like this for some time i bet we will have some more accumulation probably even some uh lower lows uh i still have my 20 percent probability that we could see a new low below the 30k but let's see that on the other charts so regarding the price of time model we are now out of this area in between the exponential curved line the threshold that uh, the squares have on the price to time model which indicate possible reversal of the price action for a correction which has been verified here and here and there so three times and then four times with this big correction of 55 percent and we are now outside of that area going to the right of the yellow candle pattern which means we could be delayed regarding the deadline of october to have a new top on this cycle so you guys know already i will be the first to tell you if we are already um if this is going to be impossible already to achieve a new top 
around the middle of October this year. Uh, probably if this is delayed for one or two months before the new year, I would still say, okay, I was off for one or two months, but actually we got there. And the important thing is that we get uh, to the new top and everyone is happy with the new price of Bitcoin. But anyway, I will be the first one to say that the price of time model actually failed a bit. Uh, regarding the um, the dates that were supposed to be uh, for the top of this cycle and then we will evaluate what to do next so that's it for the price of time model we are still on the right side and going down again on bitcoin but i will already tell you i will uh, on the next charts probably on the pro indicators chart i will tell you what are my new support levels for this drop if we see a new low below the 30k so let's check the RSI just quickly. And of course, you guys know this uh, touched exactly the orange dashed line that we had here. And this was one of the main uh, milestones that I was wanting to happen is that we got above this orange dashed line, just like the 2013 cycle, which didn't happen so far. So we continue going down on the RSI, which by the way, if we go to close or even oversold territory, this is also good because it means that it's theoretically it's the bottom and we cannot go lower than that. Now it depends on what price level this will indicate on the RSI to be oversold. I bet it would be very, very low. Uh, probably close to the all-time high of 2017 so no one wants that of course but it's a very good opportunity to rebuy Bitcoin and uh, wait for the next stop which will come soon so the RSI is not very famous too it's it's not I don't like it very much I would prefer us to be above the orange dashed line but however Bitcoin continues to go down and we will have to wait for the new supports that are coming so let's check the weekly chart and the weekly chart as i said closed below the body of the previous candle so here it is this was enough this small gap between the opening of the green candle and the close of the red candle for the end of the week that just started not even 24 hours ago this is what triggered this down uh, downside price action and i was telling you guys about this on saturday on on the fu money live stream then on saturday night on the hard for cafe live stream and i also wrote this on the telegram group just a few minutes before the close of the week uh, I said we did not achieve the 35800 this will probably take us lower and that's what is happening since the beginning of the new week which is this big red candle here so right now we are achieving we are getting to the same lows as before and the only thing that i think it's good in this scenario is that the 50 period sma is coming up and will meet the price action sometime soon so this could act as probably support here although i think this support is not so strong as the support we had over there with the triangle if we could at least have closed that candle above the 35800 and have a possible price action reversal to the upside but that didn't happen so we have to leave what with what we have and now it's time to start planning ahead and start to think about what to do if the 50 period SMA is not going to hold the price and that will come up just next on the pro indicators chart that i will show you guys with the next levels of support of course the rsi is bearish again so we were going sideways but now with the start of the new week and going down like this so much in just one day not even one day uh, so we are still away from the 24 hours of the new week but the rsi is going down this is bearish the macd continues to go down although the gap is the same or there is no gap sorry there is no gap between last week and this week uh, bar but of course the blue line is below the orange line and that means bearish and the direction of the lines is still going down so the weekly chart, as you guys know, for some time already has been very, very bearish. I don't like the weekly chart. The only chart that I've been liking in the last, um, you know, uh, in, in the last few days or even one or two weeks has been the daily chart. So let's take a look at the daily and the daily show us that we broke the triangle to the downside, even having a B extension 
buy signal on the MRI and we are still going down. However, since about uh, noon today, so far, we have been keeping this price level intact. So we went down to 31, uh, the low was uh, 31,674. And we have been keeping that for a few hours already. So it's not been easy for Bitcoin to continue the downtrend. But however, we never know what's going to happen because the pressure to sell is still very, very strong. The RSI in the daily is coming down. <clears throat> sorry, that, sorry for that, guys. Uh, the MACD was, was, and this was one of the things I really liked on the daily chart, the MACD was bullish, but now the blue line is crossing below the orange line again, and we are, uh, as you guys see here, we are having the green bars becoming light green, and probably the next bar will become red. So the daily chart will also become bearish in a short period of time, probably tomorrow, if we continue this downtrend. Uh, so let's see what happens. But I don't see much support. You guys know already that if we retest the 30K again, the bigger probability is that we are going to break that support of the 30K and continue a bit more to the downside. So uh, we have to wait and see what's going to happen, but we can start already to plan what to do if some different scenarios will happen and what are the biggest probabilities of one scenario happening over the other. So you guys should start planning what to do if Bitcoin goes down. Of course, I don't recommend, I will not do it myself. I would never recommend that anyone would sell their positions now, especially if this is a spot market position and not leverage. Of course, if you are leveraged, you should consider the stop losses that you that you have in place. But for the spot market positions that people have, I would not recommend selling them right now because we might be very close of a, f uh, of a final leg to the downside to achieve the bottom and then have a price reversal to the upside. Of course, no one knows the future. I've been saying this all the time in the channel. No one can predict the future, but you can plan for different scenarios. And that's what I do here. I try to help people to plan for either scenario that might come up and um, at least minimize some uh, bad uh, choices and uh, have some very good choices on the sidelines waiting for some scenario to happen. So that's it for the daily chart. Uh, of course, so just to uh, summarize the RSI is going down, that's bearish. The MACD is turning bearish right now. The blue line is going to be below the orange line. The bars will turn red soon probably tomorrow and that's it for the daily chart which was the one i liked the most but now it's also going bearish so let's take a look at the four hour chart and on the four hour chart we have a short reversal of the price action around the 31 and a half so we went actually we did not touch that level but we went to 31 700 around 600 something uh, let me check the exact number 31 728 and then we had the short-term short term uh, price action reversal, but I don't believe this uh, short-term price action reversal will actually have the strength to push us above the previous uh, swing high, which is close to my trend line, and it's a long way there, so we might see some kind of you know, short term reversal, but then continuation to the downside to retest the 30k level, which I believe that the, the more times we test it, the more likely it will be that we break that support around 30k and go below. So guys, start to think about what to do if Bitcoin goes below 30k. If you still have some money on the side, you should uh, at least start to uh, define your own plan about what to do if you want to buy on the next support or if you want to wait and see what the market will do for the next months. So uh, the BitMEX funding rate was, of course, one of the reasons that the price action stopped this downtrend. As you guys can see here, the BitMEX funding rate was over, overextended to the negative side, which helped us to contain that drop that big drop of course uh, and now we are just getting again back to the neutral zone of the bitmax funding rate so the shorts are um, taking some profit right now avoiding this short-term price reversal which means that we could 
again continue to see some downtrend if the bitmax funding rate goes to the upper side to the positive sides of the longs so uh, we will have to wait also and see what happens here but i don't believe that this price reversal has the necessary strength to push us to the upside and above the triangle again uh, we had this uh, we had the same opportunity here with these uh, three candles, but then the top of the triangle rejected the price action again, made this candle look like a shooting star and pushed us back down to the uh, lower part or below the triangle. So it's not, it's not very good to see things like that. I know that a lot of people are, uh, of course, thinking about what to do, but I have to say it again, spot positions in the market should not be sold right now because we might be very close to a bottom. Even if we go lower like f five, six thousand dollars, we might be very, very close to, an, to, to the bottom. I don't really believe we are going to cross the all time high of 2017 to the downside. So we are very close. And if you sell now, you are just losing or confirming the loss that you might have in the future. So the loss that you are having now that you might not have in the future, of course, with a price reversal to the upside, even if it takes some time to get there. So that's it for the MRI. Let's just take a quick look here and I will tell you guys directly, directly. This is my new support level. This is what I believe we might go to if the, the, the downtrend uh, continues and if we don't have the, the um, enough, uh, enough um, you know, if we don't have enough power to change this downtrend, uh, enough buying power, that's what I was trying to say. If we don't have enough buying power to change this uptrend and use this support of the big, big channel on the daily uh, to reverse the price action to the upside, we might go here. So my support levels right now are around 25 to 27 K. 25 to 28 K. This will be my next support level, as you guys can see here with the Pro indicators that's the support context right now and that's the level that I see probably as a new support if we break this trend channel here so let's see what happens I will just show you guys this trend channel on the daily because it's uh, much easier to see it so this is the big trend channel that you are watching this big big channel here we touched the top here twice we have touched the bottom three times and we have been uh, being supported by the bottom of this trend channel uh, since noon today. Let's see if this can hold the price. But if we go below the trend channel and retest the 30K, I'm expecting 25 to $28,000 Bitcoin. So that is my support level for the next uh, breakout to the downside if it happens and this is what you should start to think about if you are planning what to do next so my plan will be if we achieve that support and i will go back to the four hours if we by any reason uh, break this trend channel and start to go to the downside I will start to DCA into Bitcoin to dollar cost average the drop until we get to 25,000 and then reevaluate what's going to happen if we are going to continue to the downside or not. So we will have to evaluate when we get to the support line. The resistance context, however, is much, much above that. We are now around 44 and a half. Uh, okay, so I don't see Bitcoin going to that resistance level right now. I see that the probability is increasing to the downside or to continue sideways and accumulating more, making this a very mature range around this level of the 30k to the 40k. We have been raging between, uh, ranging between 30k and 40k and the probability of continuation for that range is very, very high with a smaller probability that we go to the support around the 25 to 28, 28k. So that's it for the pro indicators. Let's just take a quick look at the dollar. As I, I have to say it guys, I have to say it exactly as predicted. 
the dollar stopped this big big rise to the top here and started to come down again with the new week that's a good sign that's a sign that bitcoin might not go very much lower than we are right now so the dollar is again uh, again coming back down let's see how this goes if this 50 period sma will act as support or even the 20 period sma will act as support but i am expecting the dollar if this is a, a lower high i expect the dollar to continue to the downside uh, in the next few weeks and probably retest this support around the 90 uh, on the dixie very very soon uh, so let's see what happens with the dollar but this is what exactly what i said before i was not expecting the dollar to cross the 50 period sma much more to the upper side and with the beginning of the new week we are already going down as i was um expecting let's say expecting um so that's the dollar the gold the gold chart is also finding support on the trend line this trend line i will just uh, make it um like this so you guys can see it better this trend line comes from may 2019 may 2019 we had uh support for the price action here once twice three times four times and now this is the fifth time that this trend line is actually su supporting the price of gold and that's a very good sign that's a sign that this trend line is very relevant to gold so i hope that uh, gold continues to find support here for the gold bugs and peter Schiff to make him a bit happier he's already happy that bitcoin has been going down but i bet he will be happier even happier uh if this trend line supports the gold price uh for the next few weeks um so let's take a look at the smp of course the smp was coming down i said this was a very very bad sign that we broke this trend line which also is very very it's coming from a very long time already march 2020 this was never broken to the downside and now we have a candle close a weekly candle close below the trend line so this is not a very good sign for the smp you guys know already that when this happens probably we will see more downside and probably not even finding support on the 20 sma probably finding support around the previous levels of support which are now exactly at the same level as the 50 period sma so let's see what happens on the smp but as i said as i warned before in one of my previous videos as soon as this trend line was broken here i would have sold my positions on the smp and wait for better days and now just to finalize let's see how the long-term chart of bitcoin is uh, going um, so we are now below the trend line this is not good also i would much prefer the price action to be above this trend line but this is now the second time i will not count this one as below because this was just exactly on top of the trend line here but this second try to break the trend line and uh, this one was successful so one and two also successful here so we have now two candles below the trend line that was supporting our bull market so let's see how this evolves but if the continuation will be to the downside we might find support around the 25 28 as i said before but it doesn't look good guys i have to say it doesn't look good however i will definitely dca into this downtrend if we get to the 25 27 range i will um increase my bitcoin positions on the spot market because this is a very very strange market right now i will not use leverage i will wait for better uh better indications on the charts that leverage is possible to use again but for now i'm not using leverage all my buy-ins into the market on bitcoin of course are just on the spot market and that's what i will do again if we continue to go down i will of course buy the dip and you guys know that um, when everyone is uh, in panic and crying on the streets that's exactly when you should buy the dip because it's a very good indication of a price action reversal so 
I am a bit extended already. I will finish this analysis for today. But guys, don't forget, this is really important. Let me just stop screen share. I will repeat it again. We don't see the future in this channel. I will not tell you where Bitcoin is going to be tomorrow. I will only tell you what to do or not tell you what to do. I will tell you what I should do and what you guys should think about with your own brains, not my brain. Don't follow my brain because that's mine and use your brains and decide what to do. Come up with a plan because if you don't have a plan, you will not make money in the market. So no one knows the future. What you should know is what to do if tomorrow Bitcoin is around 25K. So this is a decision you have to make. My decision will be to buy more in the spot market, not using leverage, of course, because the market is very unstable right now. But I will for sure increase my Bitcoin position on the spot market if we go to 25 or 28K. So that interval. But now you should know what you should do if that happens. Or you should also know what to do if we go to new all-time highs. Of course, you should always have a plan for the new all-time highs and you should create a plan for a possible bigger drop to 25 to 28K. So that's my advice. That's, uh, this is not financial advice, of course. I'm just saying what I, sh I will do if that happens. But my advice to you is come up with a plan. And then you have to follow your plan, of course, if this is good for you and will bring you some profit. So that's it for today, guys. Again, thank you very much for the 1000 subs. We crossed the line. The first milestone of the channel was achieved. I am very happy. I expect to in some time in the future when this COVID crap ends uh, to meet with some of you guys, celebrate the, the, the first milestone or even the two first milestones, which will be the 4000 public hours watched on the channel. Uh, so, of course, we are very happy. Uh, me and also the moderators of the channel are happy with this uh, achievement. And also, uh, again, a word of thank you to the guys at uh, Heart for Cafe, because uh, also they helped to boost that uh, subscription level. And and of course, guys, uh, don't forget always the last words are words of advice, which I will now uh, give it to you as usual. All right, let's roll. Hey, let's be careful out there. So, guys, let's roll and be really careful out there in the markets. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.